babies. Hi. Oh, is your good girl? Is your good girl? Is your good girl? Hi. Is your good girl? There's the Georgie. Hi, baby. Why did I'm going to the neighbors to take them some plastic wrap that I picked up for them? So it is Tuesday, um, I started off the vlog as kind of like a fly on the wall type of thing because A, I was wondering if maybe just seeing what I do throughout the day instead of hearing me <laughs> talk about it at the same time is as effective and also I hate the sound of my voice. Um, I guess there's some auditory type of situation where the ear perceives what's coming out of your vocal cords differently than other people perceive it. So there's a reason behind it, but I forget what the word or term is for it. After about, you know, 11, 12 years of vlogging and editing video after video after my, of myself, you kind of get sick of hearing the sound of your own voice. I just wanted to kind of ease into vlogging and just kind of be relaxed and do things a little different. Today I will talk because there's not a lot of fun stuff going on. We do have a fun thing coming up this evening. John and I are going to go out for a really nice dinner downtown at this new restaurant called, called Napa Kitchen that just opened. Um, it's located in the new Hilton uh, Hotel. Which is, uh, from what I've seen on social media, is beautiful. I have not had a chance to get down there. Today, during the daytime, I'm on my way to my ophthalmologist appointment. I saw a neurological ophthalmologist for migraines that I've been having and headaches I've been having and basically there's a couple things going on. Um, I saw my doctor as well. I had a like beginnings of an ear infection and I also have um, allergies that I didn't realize I had during this time of year so I'm on Claritin now for some of the vertigo stuff. I was also diagnosed with actual vertigo so I've been getting adjustments uh, done and some other things uh, for that. It's gotten a little bit better. The headaches and stuff from the other doctor was 
He referred me to a neurologist because he really thinks that I should get Botox in my forehead to calm my forehead muscles down. I have not really wrapped my head around that because I don't want to pay a ton of money on something that's just gonna wear off. Yeah, so today I have my ophthalmologist appointment, which I'm headed to now. Then right after that, we will rush over to a whole different other part of the city for my uh, neurologic neur neurologist appointment. And then after that, we are gonna rush to a whole other part of the city for my physical therapy appointment for my knee. My knee's doing a lot better. I'm, um, I'm not allowed to walk for exercise for a month, which is driving me insane because it's beautiful out and I want to take the dogs for a walk. It's going to be slow goings, but I'm listening to my doctor, I'm listening to my body, and hopefully this time around we'll finally get this whole situation fixed. With all this first part of this vlog not talking and now I'm just talking your ear off, but I am, again, headed to my ophthalmologist. Uh, gonna get that done and then we'll head on to the next appointment to the next appointment and then we'll rush home and get ready to go to dinner all right so of course I did not bring my sunglasses I even thought about it before I walked out the door like oh if they dilate me and I need to go do my next appointment I should probably bring my sunglasses <sighs> so I'm rocking these sexy dudes because I literally cannot see anything with the Sun hi Kaya hi. So I basically left the house at 10 o'clock this morning and I didn't get home until 4.15 and all that entire time I was at doctor's appointments or at physical therapy. So it's been a long day of just running around and I'm excited to have a nice calm dinner with John. It should be fun. We haven't had like a date night out in a while. Um, so he just grabbed the kids some dinner and we're gonna head out in the next couple minutes. All right guys, so I did a horrible job of vlogging yesterday. Um, the dinner we went to, they invited us out and it was kind of like an Instagram thing anyways. So I kind of was concentrating more on capturing stuff for Instagram and then also just kind of enjoying my evening out with John because it has been so long since we've had just a me and him nice dinner out. You know, we were usually like, let's order something in and sit in our pajamas and watch reruns of something when the kids are gone, but yeah, it was, it was really nice. We definitely needed it. But um, I will enter in my little reel that I did over here for you guys to see because Napa Valley Kitchen was actually really good. Um, I wasn't a super huge fan of the brie. You guys know, I'm always bringing the honesty, right? I wasn't a super huge fan of the br baked brie. Um, I usually love baked brie. I just, the bread was like kind of stale. Like it wasn't not toasted enough or hard enough to be like the right crispiness of it but it also wasn't soft enough like it was just it just tasted stale and I like almost choked on it a couple times um so I wasn't a huge fan of baked brie but I did love the prosciutto wrapped shrimp was amazing my uh cucumber watermelon gimlet oh my gosh so good I want to learn how to make them at home um John loved his pinot grigio he had he said his roasted chicken tortellini was really good my shrimp um, I think I had like the garlic shrimp it was really good and then oh my gosh the star of the show was the strawberry shortcake It was exactly like my mom makes it like so good and then John got like um Something bourbon with ice cream, which was his was really good, too So everything was delicious. The setting was awesome. It was perfect weather. We went for a walk by the river um, But the only thing I would say is just the baked brie. I would maybe pass on that, but everything else was amazing. Uh, today is Wednesday. I made myself a really yummy salted caramel vanilla uh, cold brew, which was super good. Kai is over here. She made a bunny. Show him the bunny. She's learning how to knit and she knit her own bunny. I kept telling her like I've never knit an animal, so she's way ahead of me. I've been working on Again, taking many, many breaks. Um, I'm working on some a uh, new dog kennel situation in the mudroom. I do a lot of laundry, so because of that, I really wanted to have more organization in the laundry room, so that way I'm not like feeling crowded or stepping on stuff. So I started doing this custom thing. I'm gonna be a little bit quiet because John's working right now in his office. Um, I built with John's help. He did all the like heavy lifting. I stained and sanded and had the idea and kind of bossed him around just because I'm not allowed to be lifting a lot because of my knee still. But um, this is what I've been working on. Uh, this is our laundry room and it's also our mud room. And so we have all these things hanging on the walls for, you know, masks and everything else. But I wanted something in here. So this was originally, those shoe racks were just down on the ground. Um, but I had this idea to do like a custom dog mud room slash shoe room backpack 
thing. And so John built me this, like I said, I stained it and clear coated it. Now I have room to put my laundry basket underneath there and there so I don't have anything in the walkway. Um, the dogs beds are down here because my dogs are trained well enough that they don't really need to be in kennels. When we go away for like more than two hours, I like to have them at least contained somewhere where an accident doesn't happen because Georgie is still small. Um, hi, Nuna. But this mudroom seemed like the perfect place because we already have a baby gate here, which I put in for them. So now when we leave for a longer period of time, the dogs can just hang out in the mudroom and have their beds in here. Or at night, um, if for some reason they need to be put away, they can be in here. But yeah, originally I was gonna put doors and a divider to make like actual custom built-in kennels. But until we remodel the kitchen, I don't want to do anything overly permanent. So I think this is a good placeholder until then um, because our kitchen is on the other side of this wall. So when we do the kitchen, we'll do this whole mudroom as well. This gets the dogs in an area. I can get the crates out of the living room and it's a little bit more room for them to be comfortable when we're gone for longer periods of time or at night. Um, shoes are still up there. I have a nice folding spot here for clothes and then if we want to set bags or something or groceries that can be there and again my laundry is now tucked away nicely. There is that. So today after I, I'm going to clean the kitchen because it's a mess again. Today my project which will be seated so that's good is building the new end tables. So the dog kennels were originally on this side and that side. We moved Georgie's upstairs to the kids common room. She's the only dog that nobody really likes sleeping with. She walks on me. I know she doesn't settle down very well. The kids fight over Nuna but nobody really wants Georgie all the time so when the kids don't want to sleep with Georgie because she doesn't settle down, like I don't blame them. I've tried sleeping with her and she jumps up and down off the bed over and over again and it's just a mess. Since they like sleeping with Nuna, I moved Georgie's kennel up to the common room so at least she's on the same level as all of us uh, when kids don't want to sleep with her necessarily. So her kennel has been currently moved upstairs. We're going to move Nuna's kennel, which is bigger. Um, I'll probably just break it down and put it in the attic. for. But this doesn't fit perfectly here. It gets in the way of the curtains. So I'm really excited to get the end tables in because I think it will open up the space a little bit more and then we won't have the smell of like dog out here. It'll be in the mud room. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build the end tables. Move your hand up a little bit higher. There you go. John has his work shirt on. What are you doing? You look handsome today. No, I don't. You do? Do you like your coffee I made you? I haven't tried it yet. Oh, but it's so good. Did you have fun last night? Yeah. Wasn't that nice? It's a good date night. It was a good day night. The weather is nice. John would rather be out golfing right now. It's so nice outside. It's amazing. I'm not allowed to golf though. I asked my sergeant if I could golf and he goes, Kelly, if you're not allowed to walk for a month for exercise, you're not allowed to golf. So then I asked if I could kayak and then he almost was like, no. But then he said, wait two more weeks. I can kayak in a week and a half, which I may or may not wrap my knee incisions and go this weekend because it's supposed to be so nice. Yeah, it's supposed to be really nice this weekend. So, I mean, I don't fall. I'm really good at not falling. I think he probably has to like what give advice to like worst case, scenario. worst case scenario people, which I'm very adept, I think on my, or whatever, on my kayaks. A little bit. Only because my knee, but I don't ever fall out of my kayak. You're the one who falls out of your kayak. He lost his kayak seat. Mm, it was a long story, but Lifetime, <laughs> if you want a kayak and you have a clumsy husband, by Lifetime, they replace all their parts for free. It's not smart to walk towards me like that, is it? Because what if you accidentally tripped? That would not be good. It's intended only for mature audiences. You're not mature. You are mature for your age. So I don't want you to want to hear you saying these cuss words, you understand? I would never say the cuss words. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, once I'm older, I'm okay. You will not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, it took me like an hour and a half, but it looks so much better over there. Yay! Look how much extra room we have, which is nice. The dogs are scared because I just got done vacuuming. Kai and I have moved on to Parent Trap because it's such a good movie, classic. The not the classic Parent Trap, but the second one, but just Parent Trap movie in general is a classic. But Yay! I asked John to move the dog kennel into my office so that way I could at least get like everything vacuumed and situated the way I liked it. And he was in a hurry. 
That's what happens when you push your husbands to do something when they don't want to do it. He accidentally nicked the entryway, which, I mean, it's not perfect anyways. The people who owned this house before us had dogs and they didn't control their chewing. Like they allowed their dogs to chew on like all of the wood stuff. Basically every wood windowsill has like chomp marks in them. So it's not like our house is perfect anyways. That's fine, but I feel bad because that was not there earlier and now it is. So, oh well, I found you guys. <laughs> so in usual Kelly form, I forgot where I put my camera and apparently it was in the kid's common room this whole time. But it's been a few days Actually, it's been a lot of days uh, since I last left off. My mom and dad came into town, took her to one of her doctor's appointments that she's had in their area, hung out with her a bunch. So I had all my doctor's appointments, haven't gotten my x-ray results back from my neck thing yet. Started medications, just some of them. So far, they don't really do anything, but it's only been a couple days. Um, tried to hang out as much as I can with friends as, you know, before school starts and all that stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I've been doing some stuff inside the house, which I'll show you guys. Hope you're not getting tired of that, but you know, it's only been a year since we moved in here, so we're still working on stuff. One of the things we're doing, which is one of the things I did with my friend, is we did the DIY plaster art thing. So we went to Hobby Lobby, got canvases. This is my friend's on the left. She came over and did hers. It's kind of like a arch thingy for hers. And then I'm Mine is right here. They're still drying, so they'll dry gray. I already picked out paint swatches. Um, I'm gonna do some like taupey, mauve different colors, and they're kind of like a, I don't know, you'll see when I do it, but there's some dark gray spots, but all of this will be different colors after I'm done painting it. But it's just, yeah. So I'm gonna take down the home sign that's in the living room, and then after I'm done painting this, that will go there. Um, that's the project we did on Friday, and then right now I'm in the midst of spray painting these planters that I picked up from Lowe's this evening. I'll show you guys that after I'm done, but right now I am going to spray paint my planters because what else do you do at 10 o'clock at night on a Saturday? And John's got popcorn and a Taco Chico to keep me company apparently. <laughs> moved the TV used to be at an angle here we moved it flat so that way it just kind of gives us more room after we did this in our bedroom and we realized how much square footage we gained by having them not curved I was like I want to do that to the living room so it works out really well especially because the curtains no longer caught behind the uh, TV so eventually John's gonna mount the TV and hide all the cords in the wall so that way we can pull it out and tilt it so that whoever's sitting here can see it a little bit better but for now I, it's fine I don't really care we don't really watch a whole ton of TV um, in here and if we do we could just sit on the sofa but right now I need to fill my planters they're gonna go there and there so that it looks nice and mirrored because John moved again my Soltec light over here from the dining room so that means that monster in my dining room slash office is not getting any light so that is what we're gonna do right now oh, that's better decapitation oh I'm so sad I've been growing this thing for so long John so cut here oh no wrong place oh well it's too late now in the wrong spot. That's all right, we'll figure it out. Okay, oh, we gotta get Big Mama back here. She's like the source of everything. Oh my God. <laughs> Got like so many roots growing through her that she's not. <laughs> Look at this huge new leaf coming out on her. That's amazing. All right, so. All right, keep going. Shot an aerial root down too. Oh, she's gone. Oh dear. 
All right, so this is what it looks like. Monstera is happy. I did have one casualty with one of the big leaves on the right, but that's okay, it'll come back. The one on the left has been happy since I propagated it, so I'm excited. I girls are playing Minecraft. Is that what you guys are doing? Yeah. yeah. And we're watching Miss Congeniality too, because we watched Miss Congeniality one yesterday. Good morning. It is 7.08 in the morning. It's Monday. It's the kids' first day of school. We're super excited. Wyatt's getting picked up. We, uh, he's at a new school this year, so he's in middle school. High, middle school slash high school. So he uh, is getting actually picked up by a group of friends. We're doing carpool. I'm doing pickups on certain days. Other people are doing dro uh, drop-offs and whatever certain days. It's a whole mess. But there's four different families. Hopefully this goes well because school's a little bit of ways from our house. Um, you're going to cut that? Oh, my Lord. <laughs> doing some last-minute belt cutting. Why it's got to wear... A belt to school for the first time. Uh. And fortunately, Wyatt is the size of a kid but isn't. So shoes, belts, everything like that is really hard to find for him because he's just so skinny. Anyways, the parent that's doing pickup today is going to be here soon. So we need to get school pictures done of Wyatt on the porch before she gets here. And John was nice and got Dunkin' Donuts for everybody. Kaya's over here looking like she's 18 already, and then that almost 18 year old's looking like she wants to go back to bed. What other big monumental thing happened this weekend before school started? I got a phone. I got a phone. Well, she got my old iPhone 7, but we activated it. Now that we have three different kids in three different schools with different types of transportation, and I'm working outside of the house now, it just made sense that Kaya have some type of communication device, right? Yeah. Oh, go get pictures! Look at my monster. She's so happy. Just planted her yesterday and she's like, hello. <sighs> I need to plant grass. There's so much stuff I need to do. Maybe you look like a homeless person. Welcome to adulthood. Welcome to being a woman. In the girl's room, and we're building shelves for Kaya so that Ava can take more of the dresser space up. And then we have some stuff we're gonna hang in the room as well. There goes Georgie, cause she doesn't like boxes. It is Tuesday, the kids are off to their second day of school. I've noticed that I am getting a little stir crazy being at home. <laughs> I spent so much time having this schedule in place where I was gone a couple days out of the week and keeping busy. And then when I was at home, I'd have the kids at home to keep me busy. But now I'm like trying to find projects almost to do because I just, I'm a little bit restless, <laughs> uh, which is not good for my knee because I need to follow their doctor's directions. Like the whole reason I'm off work is because I'm supposed to be resting, which I am, but I'm because of that too, I'm getting a little bit stir crazy. So I'm on my way to physical therapy. Um, I woke up. Yesterday I had like a little mental breakdown, um, not gonna lie, that's why I didn't vlog really yesterday after, you know, the kids. In the evening I just, just got a really, I just had a bad night. I had a mental breakdown. I literally don't know how else to explain it. Sometimes I just have these moments where I lose control of all of my emotions and just shut down and freak out a little bit, um, a lot of it, I'm not gonna lie, a lot. And so, yeah, I put down the camera because I wasn't going to pretend for the camera. And today's a new day. Drop the kids off at school. Wyatt's, this is the second day of him um, doing carpool with his little group of friends. And it was working out so far so, so good. Um, it's only been two days, obviously. Uh, John's going to do pickup today for all four of the boys. And then I'm going to pick up Kaya. And then we have a little bit of a schedule going that I think hopefully we can maintain. But, yeah, I'm just feeling, I don't know. I'm feeling a certain way, uh, trying to just enjoy the weather and appreciate stuff and um, hydrate. <laughs> but yeah, I'm on my way to physical therapy right now. Uh, that's about that. John and I are on our way to a Metro Parks thing. You guys know the Toledo area is one of the highest rated Metro Parks area in the country, which is pretty awesome. We love our area. We love our Metro Parks. 
Uh, there's one within five miles of every neighborhood, which is pretty cool. So if you live in our area, there's a metro park that you can go explore, run at, hang out at, take your kids to within five miles of you. I am lucky we have like, I don't know, eight around us, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, they are kind of unveiling phase two of the projects going on downtown by the river, which is already looking really cool. And they invited me out to go and John is my camera guy. So he gets to come with me. Um, it was moved from the actual work site, uh, to a brewery downtown. So that'll be interesting cause I've never been to heavy, uh, beer company. So yeah, it's just going to be a nice quick outing though, because it is a school night and John and I have responsibilities at home. In other words, kids who have school tomorrow and he has to work and I have stuff I gotta do too so yeah but it's like a nice little date night kind of yeah <laughs> This is. There's like pinball machines yeah, on the other side of that. I'm like, oh, this is the food. Oh, so now move this. What about down here? Because they're going to be taking over. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Have you tried Eastside Gym? No, I haven't tried the gym. Because strawberry was so good, I was like, I need another one. So this is a part of my distillery. The other rest of it's. I love how you say part. Part of part of the distillery, but this is the main part of the distillery. So awesome. Uh, these are the palette of strawberry. Vodka. So heart of vodka is that like your heart of vodka seller? is kind of like heart of vodka is the uh, the family. There are three vodkas in heart of vodka. There's heart of glass, which is the strawberry vodka. Heart of Gold, which is our straight vodka, and then Heart of Stone, which is our stone fruit vodka that will be released in about a month. Stone fruit. And stone fruit. what are the flavor notes in that? Apricot and peach. Stop it. it is. She's speaking her language. Peach is my is. favorite. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I've been up since 6.30 getting Wyatt. He just got picked up. Uh, I'm going to wake up Kai in about 10 minutes. I need to rewash my whites because I accidentally left them in the washer for three days. <laughs> two days, not three days, two days. Because uh, that's, you know, sometimes happens. And they're all mildewy now. I have physical therapy this afternoon at 2.45. Um, and then I gotta pick up all the boys. John's out of town today. He's gonna come back into town in time to pick up Kaya from school, however. Ava's at her dad's house this week. She'll be back Friday. And then um, tomorrow I go back to work, which I'm really excited about. A, because I need money. And B, because I miss my coworkers and I miss <laughs> working and engaging with people. I'm glad because the rain has kind of dwindled off. It rained enough that I don't need to worry about watering the new grass seed, which is awesome. Some of the areas did wash out though, but I'll just have to re-lay down grass seed. It's expensive. Yard work's expensive. I'm gonna go wake up my kid. Oh, time to wake up the Kaya. I gotta take that trash out. I gotta take some stuff back to Kohl's too. I think she might already be awake. My kids are really good about um, waking up when they're supposed to to their own alarms and the dog slept with her last night so they're gonna need taken out. Good morning, Kaya. Good morning. I'm gonna take the doggies out, okay? Okay. Hi girls. So I have to take them out on leashes in the morning because we have grass seed all in the backyard so they can't go out. So that's been kind of a pain with all the rain, but it's okay. And I'm still slow going with my knee downstairs. <laughs> I'm gonna end this video because it is crazy long. This is what always happens whenever I take a break from vlogging, I feel like. <laughs> um, I'm going back to work again tomorrow, like I said, so. Um, I'm just trying to get everything done before that comes back into my life. Um, I'm doing my wifely duties, throwing cardboard boxes into the garage for somebody else to deal with. Hey, I do the dishes, I do the laundry, I do the mothering. I feel like I should get a pass on cardboard, right? Oh, I should switch the laundry so that I don't have to redo my whites for the 
third time. Jeez, I'm terrible. Who else, right? Who else? Getting random stuff out of the dryer. It's like a little dolphin pin. Um, oh, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna show you guys kind of the finished stuff that we did. So, so projects that we conquered. Build that thing, took me forever. I think I filmed because <laughs> I had a kind of building part of it. Literally every single piece was not together. Like there was no like, oh, these drawers are already assembled or like something. No, every little thing needed to be attached to something else. It took me four hours. It was a beast, um, but I love it if it's perfectly right here because I, you know, it just it actually gives more space to the kitchen. So moving that was awesome because now I can move the trash can over so people aren't hitting it. We can reach all of our light switches nicely. We still got the clock. John didn't want to get rid of the clock. Um, looks a little bit weird that high, but oh well, it works. Uh, cleaned up the refrigerator, got some more organization over there. Uh, what else did we do? Hung my little DIY thingy, I don't know. It turned out a lot better than I actually thought. I should have probably cleaned some stuff up and made it look a little bit more finished. Um, there's some weird wavy things that I could have fixed, but I was kind of being impatient. It was super hot in the garage when me and my friend were doing it, and then I was helping her with hers, so it just kind of like, whatever. It's handmade, all right? So it's a Kelly Special Original. Nobody else has one. It's fine. I'm glad I painted it the way that I did. I originally picked out three different colors, which are all on here. Um, but the funny thing is, is because of the texture is so different, that color and that color are actually the same color, but because the texture is different, it gives it like a different dimension of color, which I thought was cool. And then that lighter color is a different color, and then that color is a different color. So I did use all three colors, just not in the way that I had originally planned, and I, I'm glad I did it the way that I did, but it fills this space really nicely. My new pillowcase covers came, or pillow covers came, um, so now we don't have that gold anymore, so that's that looks really nice and they're all over there. Hi Georgie! Uh, but what I was trying to do was I was trying to do colors that would pull out and complement our fireplace. Y'all know I'm not a huge fan of this stonework. Apparently it's really nice and expensive or whatever back in the 90s, but I'm not a huge fan of it just because it collects dust and there's a lot of just little crevices in it that are driving me insane. It is what it is and I wanted to try to make it look nice and cohesive, so that's what I did. I changed out the pillows. Um, debating whether or not to get the matching ottoman to this sofa. If you follow me on Instagram, I had a whole like thing that I did out there about that. Uh, opened up my Line and Kugel's PR box. It was awesome. If you follow me on Instagram again, you would have already seen that, but they sent me a lot of goodies. Sun is finally coming out. It's been raining nonstop, but the grass that I planted there and out there and on the side of the house is happy for it. And then, oh, we got new lamps. That was a new thing. We finally have three matching lamps in here. I was waiting when we first moved in because I just wanted to see how much light we needed throughout the year. So we finally got the lamps, which is awesome. Did have to cancel my physical therapy appointment today because John is uh, going to be a little bit later than planned out of town and I was having kind of a migraine coming on. So um, yeah, it just all worked out to the point where I needed to cancel. So I do have an appointment on Friday though, so I will make sure to go to that. I'm going to go downstairs and do my workout though in the gym just so that I keep on track for that. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's been my last two weeks off of work. Um, I've been off longer, obviously. I've been off for a full month and a half, but these last two weeks were just two weeks that I was not expecting to take off. They were something that my doctor added on. So that's what I've been up to. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Sorry it's like so long and random, but that is who I am. And Georgie's just like gazing at me. No, I'm not gonna play. Don't get up. Not gonna. No, I don't wanna play. <sighs> she got up. All right, Georgie, tell everyone goodbye. Bye bye.